16 of 5, 14. I have heard from several other people and I myself often get inspiration in the shower. So for example today when I was going to the shower already when I was taking off my thousand and one pieces of clothes wait a minute before I put on music of Enigma in the bathroom and then I started to put off my clothes and uh, that was more or less the moment when I got an idea what I should I've written already on my to-do list um, and the main idea is to open a separate YouTube channel with the name hashtag fuck your intellectual property Vanus Enigma because I often had uh, inspiration to create uh, videos by but I often felt uh, I was afraid that they take down my channel because of copyright infringement and now I'm just thinking of uh, uh, the last video on my channel short videos Vanus Enigma uh, with the title coming out cat comedy Satoshi Nakamoto Bitcoin and the cat in the cage and the bird on top and actually uh, this is especially the feeling that I was long time I often uh, complained about uh, yeah I would like to do things but it's always that problem of intellectual property and copyright which inhibits creativity and freedom of expression just now I was thinking about to make like a fashion show maybe uh, with music of Enigma and many other ideas looking on my to-do list right now I've got on the top of my to-do list uh, to write in the about section of my main YouTube channel Vanus Enigma I want to change the name of the channel to Vanus Enigma Video Mix androgyny but there are limits how often you can change the name uh, right now I've got FTM is the abbreviation of female to male I've got uh, I studied this topic now for the last time very much and uh, yeah and some more brainstorming ideas uh, which I had uh, under the shower <laughs> actually I just want to say a few words like brainstorming without uh, thinking how to express the ideas or um, the parable of Jesus on the virgins and the oil and Jesus as bride so that um, church female and uh, just yesterday I listened to a video uh, and uh, somebody asked uh, the, the men and how is your other 50 percent so it means like and anyway when uh, God created uh, men and women first it was only Adam and um, yeah created uh, Eve of Adam or maybe vice versa <laughs> which was first the chicken or the egg I think maybe it was uh, the female first and the male uh, came out of the female because uh, 
not just yeah of course the the mother gives birth to a baby and uh because um they like to give um justification why the female su should submit to the male and anyway there's much uh manipulation corruption and the selection of the of the books which come into the bible uh, gnostic gospels and old testament stone women to death if there is no husband if she gets pregnant and so on i should hurry now a little because today is saturday 14th of may um 2016 and it's the pride parade mas palomas aquí gran canaria uh it starts last year it started at 3 p.m. and to this year at 5 p.m. and uh, they started at uh, Rio Palace um Avenida de Tirajana and then to Jumbo Center played English 16.05.15 I'm just listening to a video, YouTube video of Holly Hood with H instead of W. The title of the video is Kardashian Course on Bruce and Illuminati Androgynous Agenda uh, published on November 2015. It's really interesting. I want to remember to add a few uh, screenshots of that video and uh, just a, th a few thoughts. Yesterday uh, was 14th of May 2016 and was the uh, Pride Parade. Uh, sorry, Pride Mas Palomas uh, in Gran Canaria and these last years I uh, <laughs> I <laughs> like in this video uh, short in my YouTube channel short videos when is enigma coming out uh, the cat uh, enclosed in the cage and the the bird on top i these last years i was very enclosing myself didn't go out and just a uh, few exceptions uh, in carnaval or <laughs> uh, yesterday at night i went out to jumbo center again bleeding glass and in the daytime I feel quite very normal but at night I feel like I I feel I feel more comfortable if I put on more a male clothes and have the appearance to be much more male so this gives me much more uh, actually, I had three hairs, <laughs> okay, like Homer Simpson, three hairs <laughs> on the left, on the right, actually six hairs. <laughs> uh, I should edit that, I should, yeah, should create that small video which I made in Jumbo Center yesterday. <laughs> showing my three hairs but I get this is ridiculous now I I found uh, I invented a new method of um, like I, later I'll show you this is just like a, a some time before I like to wear a cap with like a, a, anyway first I want to say I want to sh to cut my hair rather very short and uh, these last years often I in the summertime I cut my hair very short and in the uh, I let it grow almost till the 
beginning of next summer. <laughs> so actually often I, I cut my hair only once a year, just before summer. <laughs> uh, uh, so often when I went to Germany in summer, the people just know me with, with short hair anyway. Uh, so no, actually what I wanted to say that um, I some years before I often was wearing a cap with an artificial hair uh, which is uh, fixed on the cap but now I found a, a better um, it's something similar just to fix the the advertisement for my YouTube channel but with um, uh, Contela <laughs> Espanol <laughs> Mitstoff in, in Deutsch uh, no, sorry, I should look <laughs> up the word in, in English. I'm more accustomed to speak Spanish. Yeah, what I wanted to say, instead of artificial hair, like wig, uh, yeah, it's like una coleta in Espanol, uh, Zopf in Deutsch, German. Uh, uh, made of fabric clothing, and there I print on my uh, advertisement for the YouTube channel Vanus Enigma. Um, ah, by the way, I bought this this um, on, uh, um I should make a photo of that. Mas Paloma's Pride advertising, like, and with with a whistle, like the whistleblower Edward Snowden. <laughs> uh, with the rainbow colors. What I actually wanted to say then, when I came home at night, especially at night, I feel since uh, maybe 10 years now, remember I'm over 40, I feel, I really <laughs> feel the difference of testosterone in my, in my body. You know that uh, the women it diminishes very much the testosterone anyway. They have seven times less than men in the blood. And anyway, if you are a little bit low in sugar, uh, I don't. I try to eat healthy, and but then if you long time you don't eat. And I don't want to drink, especially at night. I don't want to drink alcohol because it it uh, has a very bad effect on the sleep at night. So I really, really want to avoid to drink alcohol in the evening. And no, <laughs> what I really want to say. Come on now. <laughs> I want to say, uh, I feel more comfortable wearing a male clothes and having a male appearance, especially if I go out at night uh, or in dangerous situations, you understand? But in the in front of the camera, I can I can play innocent crypto kitty or sexy shilly kitty. I have well, I have these different Twitter accounts, and I like to play with my voice. Uh, remember the the video uh, voice and name on my YouTube channel short videos and Vanessa and Nima. Innocent crypto kitty. Oh, I should really think, organize my to-do list because it's very important to think about priorities. Uh, now, first, I should um, do some homework, wash all these dishes, make order, clean the house, and and cut my hair. But now first I, I, I feel like, okay, first wash the dishes. 
because I always the the water goes strong. It, 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 I get wet all the body because I hate it. I uh, you know of anorexia. I have this always cold hand and feet, and then I all these thousand and one clothes, and I get wet. I have to change my clothes after after I wash my dishes. Do you understand? So this is normal. Normally, always. I wait before I, I take the shower and just before I wash the dishes because then I have to change the clothes. Do you understand? <laughs> it, it, this is this is like what I like most when my mother comes to visit me here, Gran Canaria. She helps me to wash the dishes. <laughs> I hate washing the dishes. Oh! <laughs> This is what I hate most because I got wet and then I have to wash my, my, my change my clothes and I always, I feel cold and because the, of this anorexia I had, I have only uh, bones and skin, you know, that's why I have bad uh, circulation of the blood and I have always ha cold hands and feet and... <coughs> But I know that when you do this uh, tra treatment of testosterone, that the circulation of the blood gets better. And anyway, my blood uh, pressure is always under the basement, under the fucking basement. <laughs> sorry, sorry <laughs> for screaming. But it's the truth. Sorry, I have to express myself sometimes a little. <laughs> I don't scare you with my real face. If you don't like my cat face, you can you can look at your butt in the mirror. Do you understand? I would like to always put the 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 right image at the right moment. It's really, but it's very much work uh, to edit all these videos. I just. Uh, later I listen again to what the, my voice recording actually now at the moment I'm recording I'm walking uh, up and down like a tiger in my apartment and I look like mm, I don't want to tell you it's just some random clothes because I often change my Although I feel a little bit cold, I sweat under my arms and under my boobs and <laughs> this is TMI, too much information. <laughs> And I have to, and especially my socks. I have to change my socks, although I have always, almost always cold feet. But if they get a little bit warm, I sweat immediately and I have to change my socks. Because then, if they are... Oh, you see, this is consequence too, especially of anorexia. You know, when I was 12 years old, I fell into this fucking anorexia because I was in the middle school and I was I had always very good grades. The, I was like isolated. They just asked, "Ah, oh, what do you have?" I have eins. Eins in Germany is the best uh, qualification. And I was I was like a geek and I was isolated and I was I was I wanted to suicide, you know? You want I, I felt really very bad and isolated and then later I changed into gymnasium. By the way, I made uh, A-level Abitur in uh, Germany and Baden-Baden were the first time the Abu Obama official visit casino Baden-Baden, by the way. So oh, now it's half past nine p.m. Sunday, fifteenth of May, two thousand sixteen, and uh, I'm sure there is still some fiesta in Jumbo Center, he played in Les Gran Canaria. So I want to go out once again. Uh, normally, I don't like to go out in the evening or in the, at the night. But um, <laughs> this is too attractive now. <laughs> and one more comment about 
androgyny. <laughs> I I feel like no, I don't actually. Yeah, I yes, I cut my hair today, but uh, if I imagine I I have started the uh, testosterone. Uh, I I am I could imagine to go out with a wig and come back without the wig because if I'm I'm tired and and uh, low in sugar and I come back I don't want to get uh, bothered by anybody <laughs> so it's funny it's I often long many years before I often thought like ah. Uh, which clothes do I put on today? Uh, today I feel like a woman. Ah, now I feel like, and especially it depends very much on how uh, the the blood sugar. You know, you go for you go for a walk and uh, walk very long, and then on the halfway you start. Oh, now I should really uh, drink some juice or something. You're feeling and then it's the moment I oh, know now it's the time is over you don't bother me anymore because I feel feel weak and <laughs> that's the time when you put off the wig <laughs> and put on the trousers and don't look at me eh? because now I'm I'm without testosterone and I have the risk to get pregnant just by somebody looking at me <laughs> so don't look at me okay I just want to look just <laughs> I only want to look but you you have you may not look at me okay do you understand <laughs> just now I remember my video mix number 112 which I made, I think it was on Easter that day. A few people were on the street and it was in the middle of the day. I made a big walk, uh, beach and back. I, I was already tired and I noticed that a man was spying uh, very much on me and I hate that people see where exactly I live especially if they seem so suspicious and then I uh, waited outside uh, waited, I waited till he disappeared but he didn't disappear always from a distance he kept on spying on me uh, that's why I uh, just said before uh, coming back as a man without the wig and uh, please nobody bother me and nobody follow me <laughs> because I'm very very I said it uh, several times very allergic that uh, almost only men come without invitation to my door and start screaming and banging on my door and I still have big desire to throw the phone out of the window into the swimming pool by the way uh, uh, I seriously want to um, sell my apartment here Gran Canaria because I want to invest in Bitcoin cryptocurrency flat earth coin Tierra Plana coin invitation to community on Twitter Yeah, the reason I didn't sell all right because I I have many other priorities and uh, uh, only few times I have uh, a good order in my house so I can I uh, invite people. <laughs> so I admit I watch a lot of YouTube videos lately, especially about androgyny. And sometimes I just want to listen to music and uh, one style of music I like very much uh, which combines the male and female is a chill step. It's a combination of dubstep and uh, chill out. So um, and then I know this was still uh, when I typed in androgyny. I found uh, one video 
um, drug queen in combination to that topic. And actually, now many years, oh, as you know, I'm living here, Gran Canaria, very near the Jumbo Center. And anyway, most of my life, I've been working a stripper. Although many years, I still, uh, since the death of my father, I stopped uh, working there. Uh, this last, since then, I got. Uh, Actually, what I'm doing now these last years, I, I actually, I, I almost hate. That's why I said often I feel always like I want to throw the phone out of the window because I just, uh, honestly, I make my money just answering the phone and nothing else. No bad sports, no, okay, sometimes, go, sometimes maybe go, uh, two times uh, per year maybe go uh, out to eat dinner or maybe lunch or make one excur excursion in Gran Canaria but uh, <laughs> nothing else because uh, I uh, anyway I told him oh I prefer to speak English or Spanish and anyway uh, I hate the German dialect dialect stecher <laughs> Dialect sprechen, Dialect stechen. Uh, <laughs> another rhyme. Uh, I <laughs> Deutsch sprechen, Dialect stechen. You, you understand? Sprechen means speak, and stechen is a, a word which rhymes with uh, the German word to speak. Sprechen, stechen. <laughs> And uh, no, what I actually want to say that I feel like going in direction of drag queen because I feel in the body I feel very male, but I still like uh, I really like to dance, and I, if I if <laughs> now yesterday again and the other day I feel like I'm the <laughs> Okay, this is very <laughs> funny, but I feel like I'm the best dancer. <laughs> okay, sometimes, not always, but when I have my moments, I feel very, I feel much more uh, comfortable dancing in front of the camera than talking in front of the camera because uh, talking, I, I, I speak too much truth, in my opinion, and the truth People don't want to hear the truth, you know, about Illuminati, about the Bible, about so many things, conspiracies about flat earth, tierra plana. Uh, I don't want to talk in front of the camera, you understand? I'm sorry, but uh, uh, it's too much. Uh, topics are very controversial. I prefer to dance in front of the camera. Or, okay, maybe uh, as soul confiscator, like a devil's advocate to scare people about the truth and make them angry about their tax money, their fucking tax money, what they are financing the wars uh, to create a disorder to, uh, to introduce the new world order. Depopulation agenda. They should be happy. I I don't I don't have the desire to create many babies. They should be happy with me. Look at the Georgia Guidestones, which actually there are some uh, uh, good rules, but uh, in the end it's a depopulation agenda. Anyway, and now at the moment I typed in a drag queen in YouTube and I'm watching many videos about that topic because I feel like going into that direction. Anyway, the mastectomy I want to do uh, first, I have many reasons, but the first reason is to avoid breast cancer. And I hope to get soon on 
testosterone, but <laughs> it seems very complicated because I bought the flight already to Germany and before uh, <laughs> this goes all very, very slowly first, you have to wait till they phone you from mental health. Uh, Salud mental aquí Gran Canaria, and if it's a state system, it goes very, very slowly. Um, so actually, I think uh, anyway, my mom wants to go, me to go there. And anyway, I want to sell the apartment. So I think I have more help in Germany. But anyway, first I have to make an and to get into the German system and the Illuminati system. <laughs> because uh, now I have only um, emergency services in Germany if I can only stay up to three months because I'm in the Spanish system here uh, uh, although I'm born in Germany um, yeah <laughs> that's the way things are Okay, let me see to find the right words to explain myself. I really t like to create uh, videos this way with the voice recorder and later I listen again to what I said and if I have an idea for some images then I add them and I then I create a little slideshow uh, which is often more or less uh, between three or five minutes and then I in the uh, video editor I repeat this slideshow then I add the, the voice recording uh, yeah this is how I create my videos this way and but when it comes to, of course, I understand people want to see your face, but I I don't like to talk in front of the camera. You understand? Because I I think really I I I t talk too much truth, and the people it's too it's too direct and anyway when I'm doing these voice recordings I'm often wearing some random clothes or I'm in the night when I'm in bed I can't sleep or uh, just uh, this is not the moment to show my no, yeah you understand what I mean but um, uh, to hmm. As I said before, many years I've been working as a stripper and I feel like going uh, in direction of drag queen. I like to get dressed up sometimes and um, make some strange weird uh, experience, ex experiments <laughs> with clothes, some new new creations uh, of fashion before too I often uh, worked with a sewing machine if I have an idea to create for example now the cap the advertisement for my YouTube channel I've never seen I don't remember having seen this idea anywhere and it combines like a type of uh, now I have the almost very sh yeah, about <laughs> three or four centimeters short hair. Yeah, about three centimeters. Uh, later you see. But anyway, I always like to hide under <laughs> my cap and uh, with these sunglasses, more or less transparent. And yeah, when it comes in f to the moment to show my face on camera I prefer like in a dancing way like the drag queens but anyway I really like uh, to create videos uh, this is actually uh, 
yeah, my number one uh, favorite thing to do if people ask me to explain myself. By the way, I just read a tweet on Twitter, of course. Um, get shot by accident. Hashtag written together to female. So it seems like you have to be more male. You can't be very female, so you get shot. There's so much hate in the world. Incredible. It's sad but true. On the streets there's uh, very much hate and discrimination. So <laughs> in normal life it's better to be like a male, uh, especially when you get home and people spy on you where you live. Uh, just on camera, uh, in a safe place you can be yourself and be a drag queen or whatever you want to be. 16.05.17 Thinking about my Twitter profile, Soul Confiscator Cat. The profile picture is still the same and the name of course and username. But now I think I have discovered a very important hashtag in that profile which is hashtag drag queen and for me as an FTM uh, it's much more easy uh, I don't have to buy a much uh, female clothes because I've got it already I have very much experience in uh, playing the female actress <laughs> This is how I was feeling uh, actually for all my life since uh, about 12 years old. Till 12 I wear were all no, only trousers and then I fell into that anorexia. Very dangerous, almost died and suicidal thoughts. Anyway, and... Um, playing this fictional character of soul confiscator uh, creepy comedy I think it's um, much more easy or it's better to uh, if you want to say some quite bitter truth it's a better digestible with mixed with some comedy hashtag devil's advocate sarcasm but uh, when it comes to the clothing and uh, I have uh, still high heel shoes and boots but I don't like to wear them because um, when I was four or five years old, I stepped into um, into a sting walking uh, barefoot in near the garden, um, a sting, and uh, the piece of that sting all my life. Um, stayed in that feet and around it formed one corn and I have I made um, many treatments but it's still especially if I wear a little bit higher shoes uh, a little bit longer um, this gives me much problem I need to write this problem more higher on my to-do list because um, sometimes I would really like to wear these high heels 
working as a drag queen. I really hope that soon I have the permission to take testosterone because uh, now I stopped taking the pill more than 20 years uh, because especially that I know that it lowers the testosterone even more and um, all my life I was very much afraid to to get pregnant although I don't have any relationship and um, now especially I feel like I don't want to see anybody uh, I'm referring especially to men because uh, <laughs> I said to one neighbor uh, ah, don't look at me even if the men look at me I can get pregnant <laughs> a little exaggerated but this is how I feel you know so uh, and uh, I, I know I'm not the only one have, having so much fear of pregnancy. Uh, just uh, the other day I saw a video on FTM. He said, yeah, he made already surgery. He's direct to me and said, he always had nightmares of getting pregnant. It's funny, the other day I made a video. Uh, I didn't know exactly the word in English because, you know, my mother language is German and uh, I'm more ex accustomed to speak Spanish, aquí Gran Canaria. Um, but, uh, yeah. Well, actually what I want to say um, <laughs> I said uh, I used the word oh it's so embarrassing <laughs> to make like one little mistake and it's it's curious because in, in Espanol uh, embarazo means pregnancy <laughs> it's like if, if you, you, you get already pregnant for just this mistake you know <laughs> it makes you pregnant <laughs> Yeah, because it, it draws more attention to you and all these this attention makes you pregnant. That's like the looks when one man looks you and you are a woman and you get pregnant just from that look. <laughs> <laughs>